Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today is a very, very special show. Um, I have some very, very intellectual, insightful men on the lines with me today. So I'm going to go over to the phone lines and we're going to get the show started. 305? Hey, what's up? 786? 786, are you there? 786. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's still five. No, I got you on air. I'm, I had another caller, 786. Very called, are you there? If not, could you call back in to 718-664-9396? So who am I speaking with with 305? Well, this song, uh, R&U, this Saint I, Saint NIC, I got um, Sir Scooter right here. Say what's up. What's up? What's How up? You this doing? your boy, Sir Scooter, <laughs> a.k.a. the 411 Dynamo. <laughs> How y'all doing? Doing good, doing good. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing pretty good. I'm ready to um, do this show with y'all because I want to hear what y'all got to say. Okay, we ready. Well, personally, I want to ask y'all, what do y'all personally, like, really think about skinny jeans? Like, do you think every dude that wears skinny jeans out in the black community, are they homosexual? Uh, well, you know, personally, that that's, like, not my forte. I, I wouldn't do nothing like that, you know. And, and that's, you know, that's my opinion about it, you know. Mm-hmm. And, but, um, yeah, back, you know, everybody say that's the 80s look. But um, I grew up in the 80s. Mm-hmm. I grew up as a kid in the 1980s, and uh, I never saw nothing like that. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it, unless that, you know, it's no, not even unless, it's no excuse for that, you know. Mm-hmm. Back when I grew up in the 90s, you know, we it was uh, cornrow braids. Late mm-hmm. late 90s, early 2000, it was the uh, cornrow braids, but that was different, you know. Mm-hmm. We talking about skinny jeans, they, you know, and the best excuse they could come up with is uh, uh, girls like it, you know. But, you know, yeah, I, I kind of think on the skinny, I disagree with it, basically, you know, mm-hmm. and, Anybody that's out there can take that how they want to. You know, I, I pretty much mm-hmm. disagree with it because it's it, if you you do something like you wear skinny jeans, it would be hard mm-hmm. to tell a straight man from a gay man. Right. You mm-hmm. know, and it, you'd be like, you know, you you have to question, man, is is this dude straight or is he gay? Mm-hmm. Because I've seen some real big fine men wearing them skinny jeans. And, I mean, they think they're cute. And they get on the bus with it and everything. And I was like, how and if you was in your right mind, like, why would you <laughs> why would you go that far, like, to that extent of putting on some, some tight jeans? I mean, because I wasn't up on the style until, um, what's, what's the uh, one rap group that's out right now with it? Um, the G, no, not the G, it's the boy, the new boys. That's the that's the only way I got up on the style, but I really wasn't on it like that. And then you got other rappers like Kanye. Yeah, yeah you got a lot of rappers out there promoting that, you know, and, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it make make them look like a fun boy, if you ask me. <laughs> you know, it, um, hold on, thank you something you want to say, hold on. Okay. Hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it look, yo, it look, it made them look mad suspect, man. I mean, they may not make them gay, but they do got a gay man's uniform on. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. For real, for real. I mean, the other day, uh, I was out at, at um, I don't know, what was it? It was a little club or something like that. And dude 
I mean, I knew the guy from high school, but it's been fa- forever and a day since I've seen him or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. And I guess he just got out of the military, and, you know, he keeping up with the, you know, with the style and fashion that's out. Mm-hmm. You know, he chilling, he, he in the club, he, he vibing, he drinking, he's sip, he sipping on his drink. And I'm wondering why this dude in this tight shirt and these, and these tight pants are staring at me with a, with a little faux hawk or whatever, the fake mohawk. And I'm like, man, if this dude keeps staring at me, dog, I, I don't swing that way, but I will swing your way. You feel me? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And then, they, you know, I got up close to the dude. Dude was like, hey, man, remember me? Yeah, this mm-hmm. I, I'm what you call the dog. I'm like, oh, what's up, dog? In the back of my mind, I'm like, man, you almost got your behind whooped. <laughs> Look at that. You know what I mean? I'm thinking he giving me the bedroom eyes, man. I ain't with all that. <laughs> Like, I mean, my question is, like, what y'all think if y'all in the club, y'all chilling, and, like, the dude is not really, like, licking his lips at you, um, you know, intentionally, like, he just doing it because maybe his lips sappy or something, mm-hmm. but what y'all feel like if y'all catch that, like, a dude licking his lips at you or, you know, giving, giving, eye, giving signals with his eyes, like, what y'all feel about that? Well, first of all, I'll... I mean, me personally, I'll I'll look at look at that and try to look the other way. Like, man, I ain't even seen that. I ain't paying attention to that. You know what I mean? Just cut uh-huh. away real quick and try to talk to the first female I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to get some <laughs> clarification. Or if uh-huh. you don't catch that, like later on down the line, I'll probably like I, like I'll probably be you know, if he's real close. Event mm-hmm. like if like say that. As the night goes on, I get close to the person or whatever. First thing I want to talk about is females. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, hey, dog, look at that female over there, dog. Yeah, you know, something like that. Just to uh-huh. just to throw them off or whatever. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, shoot, maybe sir, school, school. How you, how would you handle that? Well, what was the question? I said the question was like, what if a dude was in the club, y'all chilling in the club, and He's not intentionally, intentionally licking his lips at you, but you just happen to catch that. What would you do? Pretend uh, I'm like my man Saint said. Pretend I don't see it. Uh, I I would be I would just be like he he ain't doing that to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I just look the other way, you know. Look the other way. He ain't doing that to me. But what if he come up? Like, what if he come up on the slide? Because you got so many that will come up on the slide and rub up against your butt. And club, Man, my, you know? my tolerance is zero on that, too. <laughs> zero tolerance. You know, I, you know, I don't swing that way. Don't mm-hmm. force me to do something I don't want to do. You know, mm-hmm. stay on your side of the fence, I stay on mine. That's how that is, you know. Now, what, but what y'all think about the, the hardest nigga in the hood, though? The who? The hardest nigga in the hood, though. Everybody look up to him. What y'all think about him, though? Who? Who Who would you say? Like, if he's a top drug dealer in the hood, like, and he's just, he got this reputation as being the hardest nigga in the hood. But he's on a, but he's on a slide, he pimping young boys, though. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's just wrong right there. You know, that, mm-hmm. that, that's, that's just wrong right there. And what we trying to do, we on a mission to, you know, try to tur- turn everybody away from this homo madness that's mm-hmm. out right now. Mm-hmm. And try to get our people to stand up mm-hmm. for some, for uh, for something. Otherwise, they'll fall for anything like they fall for this garbage that's out there right now. Mm-hmm. Basically. I mean, because I mean, you got... You got rappers, you got singers out here. They using nursery rhymes and all types of stuff to make hits. Basically, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off, but everybody hooked on their little metaphors. You you seen what's out in the mainstream mm-hmm. right now? Everybody hooked on the little metaphors. It was a time in hip hop when folks used to spit from the heart and they wasn't worried about no metaphor. Now it's about the coolest right. metaphor and all this stuff. Music, uh, hip hop, music in general mm-hmm. now. It's different compared to how it was when I was growing up. You know, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, we try to make music that has a point to it. Mm-hmm. 
basically. That's what R&U is all about. We make music that's got a point to it, and if it's pointless, we pretty much don't deal with it. Mm-hmm. 